What's up everyone? Kelvin ML here. Hope everybody's doing okay uh, tonight. I just wanted to uh, make a video, show some TTMs I gotten in over uh, the past few weeks. Uh, since my last video, I actually got uh, several TTMs in to show you and also uh, got some uh, pickups, some uh, sports card pickups. But first of all, I will show you the TTMs first. Um, I actually just got this one yesterday, I believe. And uh, actually my first time getting him back. Um, but it's the uh, first time I've ever sent off for him. Uh, and that's Clayton Kershaw. Signed this. Uh, let's see, what year is this? This is, uh, looks like 2012 tops. So I really think that's awesome. Uh, one of the best pitchers in baseball uh, takes the time to uh, sign TTMs for people so I'm, I'm actually very impressed by that so that's a really cool uh, return to get back from him and he also sent the uh, little uh, Kershaw's challenge that he sends out to everybody so a really cool return there and the next return these next returns are all 8 by 10s uh, the first one I got back is this is a two of two from uh, Bob Balaban. Uh, this is from uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind movie here. I'm sure you guys seen that uh, movie or recognize that photo. So a cool shot there, and he also signed. Uh, this is from uh, the Monuments Men. Uh, that's of course uh, him standing there with uh, Bill Murray. So really cool uh, success there. I sent that in care of a uh, Broadway play that he's doing right now uh, in New York. Uh, next return I got back is Mr. James Earl Jones. Um, always great uh, TTM signer to us. Now this of course from the movie Field of Dreams. Uh, standing there with Kevin Costner So real cool real cool shot there a uh, real big fan of that movie enjoyed that movie a lot and he also uh, Signed this one for me signed down there in blue sharpie. This is kind of a collage of the different work he's uh, done over the years uh, Of course one of his most uh, notable ones that everybody knows about is the voice of Darth Vader so, real cool return uh, there from him. And that was um, in care of a Broadway play that he's doing right now. And this next return uh, is coming from Michael C. Hall, otherwise known as Dexter. So, he signed this uh, 8x10 for me. Uh, Dexter is actually one of my top, top shows of all, favorite shows of all time. Any of you guys that are on the fence, haven't checked that show out yet, um, I, everybody I've recommended the show to um, has not been disappointed. So any of you uh, guys or gals have not checked that out, please do. And he also signed uh, that shot for me there as well. Uh, the cool part about uh, Michael C. Hall, he, he actually went to high school um, not too far from where I live. I know exactly where the high school is. I passed by it several times. It's a uh, private school. Um, actually, him and the two celebrities I know that went to that school is Emily Proctor and, of course, Michael C. Hall both went to that same school. Uh, Emily Proctor, she is on uh, CSI. So, real cool return there from him. Uh, next return I got is actually coming from a voice actor. Uh, this is Stephen Blum. Um, this is he plays uh, does voice for the character in this shot is uh, Zeb on Star Wars Rebels. It comes on the Disney Channel. I actually um, like this show. I st recently started watching that show on the uh, Disney Channel Star Wars Rebels. I was kind of uh, discounting it at first. You know, with Disney taking over the whole uh, Star Wars deal, I didn't think they would do it just, but, justice, but I actually think 
um, they have so far. And um, this is a good show. Uh, any of you guys that um, might be on the fence, uh, definitely check this show out. Star Wars Rebels on the Disney Channel. It's not that bad. So, he, he's done a ton of voices. Uh, one of the most popular voice actors there is. Done a ton, ton of voices for different things. Um, here's another shot of him right here. He signed in Silver Sharpie. There's some of the characters that he's done voices for. So, uh, really cool return from him. Next return is coming from uh, Courtney Force. She, of course, is a drag racer. Uh, drives the Traxxas car. So, she signed that 8x10 for me. And also signed this uh, really nice shot. Uh, this photo is actually, of course, from the, the body issue, ESPN body issue. So, real nice shot there. Uh, this next return is uh, coming from Tony LaRussa. I uh, found this photo, had to send this one off. Uh, of course, there with uh, McGuire, Canseco, and uh, Eccles Ecclesley, <laughs> excuse me, Dennis Eckersley, and uh, looks like Dave Stewart there. So, real cool shot there from him. And this is also um, a shot that he signed when he actually used to uh, play baseball. So, a real cool uh, vintage photo there of him. Uh, next return is coming from Hank Williams Jr. He signed this uh, shot for me here. And he also signed uh, one more. So, real cool success from him. Um, the next return is coming from uh, Jimmy Smits. Uh, this is actually when he was on Sons of Anarchy. Uh, that's where this shot is from. I've gotten um, him before on a shot when he was um, on Dexter and of course Star Wars. I wanted to get him on a Sons of Anarchy photo. So, real happy with that return. So, um, Sorry about that guys, my memory card actually got filled up, but um, that was actually the last of the TTMs that I had to show you guys, but I actually uh, been picking up some uh, sports cards here lately, uh, many of you guys know I PC the Panthers and the Braves, so I've been uh, actually picking up a lot of uh, cards lately, um, I'm actually trying to do the uh, rainbow of Kelvin Benjamin. Uh, for the 2014 Topps Chrome uh, set. So now I've been picking up a lot of them. And uh, I'll get into showing you what I got in so far. Uh, the first one I got in is the Kelvin Benjamin uh, Camo. And that one of course is uh, numbered out of 499. These cards are uh, really awesome looking. Also got uh, the orange refractor in. That one is uh, non-numbered. And uh, also got the X Factor. Also non-numbered. And as well as uh, the Pulsar. And that one is a. Uh, non-numbered as well and uh, I got a few more Kelvin Benjamin cards in here um, I like this uh, this is actually just a kind of an insert that I picked up um, this is a top shelf from uh, Bowman Chrome really a nice looking insert here's a uh, a beef I kind of had I don't know if the rest of you guys do I know this is kind of the, the standard for the card industry as far as putting this tape on the top loaders to keep the uh, card from coming out. But I don't I don't particularly like it. 
um, at all for one. Um, it's it's a lot of work to get the tape off, um, especially if you put it on a brand new top loader and you're going to just run it with a piece of tape with all that residue you got to clean off. And um, I definitely prefer that uh, these sellers put something like you know masking, like painters masking tape over the top, or just put the uh, the top loader in a, a team bag. Um, uh, or at least put um, some kind of flap on the tape where it's easy uh, comes off easy. So that's kind of a thing um, I don't particularly like. Um, here's another Kelvin Benjamin uh, pickup. This is a die cut rookie card out of uh, Topps Chrome. And uh, here, here's another uh, rookie refractor out of uh, Platinum. And also a uh, die cut rookie out of uh, Topps Chrome. I think that's the, uh, that was the same, uh, I picked up two of those by accident. So um, that's my Kelvin Benjamin pickup. So I've been picking up, trying to get at least uh, one of every one of his rookie cards and refractors and things of that sort. So uh, that's my mail day uh, for today, guys. Uh, hope everybody doing well out there and take care everybody. See ya.